Welcome back again. So I am Dr. Prashant Padhyay and today we will going to talk about the types of augmented reality. So basically when we are talking about the types of AR, so we generally divide it into the two types, marker based and markerless. The markerless can be further divided into the subcategories of a location based, projection based, contour based and the superimposition based AR. We will going to talk about marker based AR first and then we will going to talk about the markerless techniques. So basically when we are talking about the marker based AR, so basically this type of AR is based on the marker. So such as when you are scanning the QR code. Okay. So when you scan the QR code, a virtual content trigger on the devices. Okay. So basically these markers are being recognized by the cameras and whatever the AR software you have created with the help of a virtual content will going to appear on the real world. Okay. So basically these marker based AR are mainly used for the advertisement. Okay. You can find it nowadays. We are using the advertisement using this AR technologies. We are using it for the educations. For example, if you can go to the kids books and from there you can find out that if you scan some particular page number the page number of that figures and the scene will going to come and similarly we are using it for the gaming another example we can say that nowadays you go to the some restaurant on paper the menu system is written there instead of that we have got got a qr codes if you scan the qr code and everything will going to appears on your mobile phone Similarly, we can say that uh, some of the example I have shown with the help of a figure. Let's say you are talking about the smartwatches. So you just click on the smartwatches and then you can get the different types of icons which you can select from the mobile phone. Similarly, okay, you have got some different pictures. Now you can just scan that picture and everything related to that pictures will going to come. Okay, so these are some of the marker based AR. So we have got particular markers that has to be scanned with the help of a QR codes. Uh, then we have got another techniques which is known as markerless AR. So in this we are not talking about the particular markers. What we say that unlike marker based AR, this AR do not require any markers. We are not relying on any of the scanning of the things. Okay. What we have to do, we simply have to take out our camera and then we have to recognize any object or a pattern and then that object or a pattern will going to appear, uh, the virtual content will going to appear in your real world. Okay, so basically we can say that these type of markerless AR are being commonly used when we are going for the navigations. Okay, so you can find that nowadays we have got a navigation system in which we whenever we are using the navigation system, we can identify okay, where the shops are, where are the uh, petrol pumps and all. So we can also use that thing with the help of the AR. Okay, then we can use it for the industrial designs and gaming again. So you will going to see that nowadays gaming and the education content are becoming more and more popular. And so the markerless AR is becoming more and more popular in these things. Then when we are talking about markerless technique, in this we have got a location based AR. Okay. So location based as we have already told you that it is the type of a markerless which is required that uh, we have when we are moving into a real time locations, we have got sensors that are enabled in our mobile phones or a tablet and these smart devices when we place it into the real world it will going to tell us that okay uh, um, where are the coffee shop where is the f uh, fashion shop where are the shopping center where are the macros everything will going to be come appears on your tablet so it is known as the location based then we are talking about the projection based ar so basically when we are talking about the projection based ar so it involves and the projecting digital content onto the physical surface okay or we can see the object in the real world for example you can see that uh, i want to use a keyboard now i can use a projection based keyboard and uh, this has already been started people are using type of services and the research are going on okay so we can have a 
this projection with keyboards okay so what we are trying to uh, do in this that uh, we are having the augmented experience without using a headset or any other devices okay that means we do not require any external devices to use this thing so we are able to utilize this projection based ar so basically this types of projection based ar are being used to display the virtual images we are using it for the animations or we are talking about the prototypes okay that are being displayed directly onto the any of the surface okay for example if i'm having my birthday i want that my birthday should be uh, my birthday or my screen should be projected on the eiffel tower so i can easily use the projection based ar okay so you must have seen that many times it happens that uh, the flags of india or the the celebrities photos are being put it on the buildings okay so how it is been done it is done with the help of a projection based ar again so in this we have to include some sensors okay so that uh, these sensors can provide a projection over the particular surface then we are talking about the contour based ar so basically in contour based ar what we are trying to say that it is based to detect and track the contours okay or we can say the outline of the system of the real world object and then it will going to put themselves or we can say the oh it will going to overlay digital content on them okay for example if you are going on driving your car and there is a low visibility area okay you are not able to find out the path so what i will going to do this contour based ar will going to put a virtual path and it will going to guide you that okay where the roads are where are the dividers and everything going, will going to be guided by this contour based ar so basically what it do it uses the computer vision algorithm to recognize and analyze the boundaries of a physical objects okay so uh, the computer vision algorithms are been used here similarly you can use the as you can see it can be used in the medical science also so suppose you want to examine okay what is present in the brain okay whether we are going for some disease detection or not okay whether the tumor is present uh, or not okay what is the size of a tumor so everything can be done with the help of this contour based ar system then we have got a superimposition based ar system in which what we are trying to do again we are overlaying a virtual content on the real world object for example you can see these buildings so suppose these buildings are not been complete it has been these are the historical buildings and then they are being broken by uh, someone okay so now what we want to do we want to give the user a real experience that how this building actually look like okay so what we can do we can use the superimposition based ar technology and we can create the entire buildings okay so the virtual content is been aligned with the object shape and the position so it will going to give you more and more realistic experience okay again this superimposition based ar again can be used for the educations okay for product visualization for, for example you are going to buy the house okay now you can use a superimposition based ar system are been used to show you how your house will going to look like okay how your room will going to look like okay where you will going to place your cars everything will be explained with the help of the super imposition based ar so these are also been used in the construction sites and it is also been used in the healthcare okay so these are the types of ar that are been used so i hope you have understood what are the different types of ar that are been used so generally we are classifying the ar into the two categories one is the marker based ar and another is the markerless ar thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed this lecture thank you